Texas from Masks, Mats, and Mayhem show. And the subject is AEW Women's Locker Room. Uh, keep it a sh- Oh, good. Because Conan should have some information on this. Okay. Keep it as short so you can read a grip of them. What do you guys think about Lufisto's comments about the AW Women's Locker Room environment and the comments it got from MGF, Ruby, Taya, Dustin Rhodes, and others? Um, just to read the comments, okay? Uh, so Lufisto, who Conan knows, uh, she said, had a one-hour phone call with the current AW talent. The woman who actually addressed the problems I did today were the ones sent home by Tony Khan. There was a meeting to shoot on Thunder Rosa that Khan attended. Before leaving, he reminded them that the woman in the AW locker room don't just Oh, well, oh, he, he, he reminded that they, their numbers are like they don't do do good numbers, supposedly. And the women in the AEW locker room don't just claim to be in support of women's wrestling. They show it. Whether you see it or not, the ones who don't ask for credit, uh, others, they, I don't know. But basically, basically MJF and Ruby. So, so there was a, it was pretty funny. Obviously, Tony Khan sent out uh, an all points bulletin. Okay, because all these AEW women like started responding like all within an hour of each other on Twitter to, to talk about how much they love working there and stuff and all the, all the right, which I thought was funny, which was kind of like was kind of like a like a media dump, like you, you you know like you see in like the mainstream media does it sometimes, right? Like the narrative went out. Um, but I I didn't really care much for the story to be honest with you. But Conan, I asked him, like, did you know anything about this? And you, I texted you, and you said, yes, you do have some information. Do you have any information on what happened here? Yeah, there's nothing, uh, uh, you know, that anybody doesn't already know, but from the people that I spoke to is, well, here's the thing, because now, you know, they're putting that, like you said, uh, um, Ruby responded, right? And a whole bunch of wrestlers, right, Joe? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Um Dustin Rose responded uh, and then deleted a tweet that said, Hey, Lufisto read your story. And sometimes as a coach, I have to be very honest and won't ever tell you a lie about how good or bad it was. Sometimes hard love comes out and I wouldn't have it any other way. I hope you find what you're looking for. Cause allegedly he was hard on her and made a joke about French Canadians being told her a match was terrible. So that was his response. Uh, Disco list member, Nicole Matthews supported Ruby Soho in the situation. And, uh, well, that's basically. She just said well, that she's. I don't care. I don't care. I don't about yeah. the timeout. I don't give a about these responses. Oh, I you want to hear what happened. Conan has? Yeah, I want to hear yeah. what happened. Yeah. Well, yeah, what yeah. what, what yeah. happened here? Yeah. Well, from what I heard, was Lufisto went in there. She had a match, and I'm friends with her, so there's no hating. So I'm just stating, not hating. She went in there. She had a match, and I guess she felt disrespected. I don't know if it was what Dustin said, but that doesn't sound like something Dustin would say. But um. Uh, she was disrespected, and so I think she kind of wanted to put him on blast. And she had found out about this meeting, which was not recently. It happened when they were in San Antonio. Can you see the last time they were in San Antonio, Joe? Yeah. AW. Mm-hmm. So this happened when they were in San Antonio. And, you know, of course the wrestlers, and I've seen this in many, many promotions, including my own, where you're trying to do damage control because you don't want the company right. to look bad. So you have credible wrestlers go out there and defend the company. But, bro, nobody's stupid. There's no wrestling promotion. You could go to Starbucks and there's only 10 employees and there's going to be beef between 10 employees. You know, you're not going to tell me that a wrestling room full of immature, a lot of them are petty, a lot of them have more money than they've ever had. They're jealous. They're cutting each other's throats. They're stabbing each other in the back that there's not people that don't like each other. When I was watching that reality show they had, whatever it was called, do you remember, Joe? AW? The what now? All Access. So All yeah, Access. Okay. All, yeah, 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 my bad. Bro, for like a month, they were showing this thing of this actual heat between Tay Conti and Ruby Soho, where they were basically saying, you know, Ruby was basically, yeah, I'm ready to beat this chick. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And that what did, was not scripted. You know what I'm saying? So there's right. heat back there. A lot of people, you know, uh, there's a lot of heat on Britt Baker, you know, and obviously Britt doesn't get along with Thunder Rosa. There's other girls that don't get along. And that happens in every com- company, AAA, WWE, Impact. That's just the way life is. You don't have to be in a wrestling company. Just any mate, you know, baseball teams, the Padres were screaming at each other not too long ago in the dugout because of their poor play. You know, that happens when there's ego and money and immaturity all involved in competition. 
Well, I tweeted because you've stated this in the past. And it's not like it's a lie that I said it like you know, the relative to the amount of women on the roster, the percentage of drama caused by the girls has always been excessively high. You know, like that is true. To, you know, and like you've said, what what is a comment you made? It was very. Said, course, I've never five been. Girls, I've never five been. girls in the locker room cause more drama than like the other eighty guys combined. Right. That is true, and I mean, we've seen it in other locker rooms. We've seen it right. in Impact. You've been in Impact. You yeah. know, we've seen it in. That's you know. It just happens. Yeah. I mean, I'm not this. That's yeah. not why. It's not like I'm not. Right. I've been behind the scenes where you, bro. Girls are. It's just bro, that's just girls' nature. They're more sensitive bro, and they're vicious and they're fight. vicious they, and they're right. vicious when they fight because i've seen them like saying to each other right. in front of me like almost about to fight i'm like wow these girls are way worse than guys are like they bring it they're like yeah. they have all this hate inside of them i don't know why maybe i don't know i don't even want to get into my theories right okay so well, the, la the last time they're in san antonio to answer your question Cohen, i was december 21st oh this so, is a while it was like six eight months, months. Yeah. ago when was the last time Lufisto was in AEW? AEW, Joe. Let me get that for you. Thank you. All right. Next is from Lewis Rice. Subject is cities. Do you have any cities or towns you dislike wrestling in and why? That's from Lewis Rice, Wisconsin. I don't, bro, I don't understand why why they, they continue. I think AEW did a show here recently. There's no reason to go to Erie, Pennsylvania. Okay, when we went to Erie, Pennsylvania, there was a building. There was just, you know, empty buildings everywhere. Poverty. I, I couldn't imagine like why you you're hitting this market. You know, you know, it's like so it was the worst. I just think town it was ever. a market that probably did for them in the past, you know, and they always right. kept it on there. Like there was one uh, right by Xbox House in Minnesota. It was called um, what was the one that was like two to Duluth two or something four. like that. The, no, not Duluth. There's another one. St. Paul. No, no not St. Paul. Many, I, I don't know. Mankato? Was, was it Mankato? Mankato, yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, hmm. I did not like going there. Yeah. This uh, uh, internet wrestling database actually lists the match that she references was April 6, 2022. So she she must have been at the meeting but hadn't had a match in eight months. Who did she work against April 26, 2022? She uh, was in a six-woman tag match. She teamed with Ruby Soho and Sky Blue against uh, Emmy Sakurai. Lufis oh, I'm sorry. She was on the team with Sakurai and the Bunny. Uh, Anna J, Soho, and Sky Blue are her opponents. Yo, what up? This is Conan and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!